we are going to utilize PBR materials in our texture. And we'll start from the trunk. Most materials will propagate from parent to child. So if I set material in the trunk, they will go all the way to even our leaves will look same. Which is kind of safe work if you think about how we're going, because most time we'll just have a trunk, maybe modify a little bit on the branches and leaves will be different, but we don't need it to worry about between them. Okay, and right now we'll select trunk and we'll click on materials. Notice we have a different, we have a segment, we also have a cup, which on the top, bottom cup, blades, as well, we have materials for the blending, secondary, segment, we have all type of materials you can create. It. And materials, in some cases, can be double-sided. So you can have it one material on one side and different on another. Like, for example, for the leaves. Or, if you for some reason decide to create an avatar glowing plants, then you can do that as well. Okay, let's go ahead and open. So I'm going double time, click and open material editor. This is advanced material editor. If you start in the basic, which is look like this, just click on this button called advanced material editor and you'll have access to all properties. It's what we're going with. If you're not familiar with this material editor, which is very standard for the view applications, then I will explain shortly what is going on. We have it our preview configurations for the preview or how material acting, which we want to use it right now. Most important for us, it's this options on the top, what type of material we're using and what mapping mode we're using. So for us, we want to switch to PBR material. As we're switching, you'll notice some of those tabs change, so they're a little bit different. Let me expand just slightly this one. The also mapping mode parameter, uh, object parameter, it's what we wanted. Sometimes it can go with the world standard, but that will apply on a all scenario, which we don't need here work well with some terrains. Well, and next what we need to modify is going through all of these properties. So I already prepare maps what we're going to use here. And for those who are interested to see how to create a texture PBR materials, I'll have it another set of the videos about focusing on the materials and creating materials. For you, if you don't have them, the materials will be part of these videos. So you can open this directory, download it, and you can access them from these uh, resource files. Well, okay, let's go start with our color. When we're on a color, we want to switch to the map at pictures. And as we open, you can see right here, we have some content showing, but we want to open from our folder. So for this, click on the top right button, for the manual browsing. Navigate to the area where it's located. In my case, I'm just going to use it this bar. You can notice it's multiple collections here, so find one that you like most. What we needed, you just remember what the number it is, and we're going to use base, height, normals, ambient occlusion, rough. So all of this. In some cases on PBR, you also may have it metallic and clear code. In current station, we don't need this for organic. Okay, let's go select our first bark and I'm just using randomly bark three. Okay, this is, you can see it's applied nice color, including our leaves, but it is applied to our existing mesh. We want to add a little bit more of this, you know, bark poking out another kind of cool effect. For this, we need to work with a bump, normals displacement. Normals and bumps does not change shape of our object. Normals or displacement will change some of the polygons and some mesh. Well, we'll start with normals. We're going down, select map at picture. We'll go click and navigate to our normals. Actually, it's called normals and remember we use it three, so we need to be sure we're selecting number three. That is, you can see already add some nice surface color. Let's go work with displacement. Same map at picture open and we're going to use it three height right there okay let's go click open well here's the things if you notice it's a one meter displacement <laughs> if you look look how weird this look i mean it's real it's look very weird because it is not one meter 
it's much less. So let's modify this. And we're going to modify maybe to 0 0.05 or 5 centimeters. And now it's look much better. If for some reason you don't like how it's going and I think it's wrong, we can click and inverse. Then we'll have it a little bit different. I think this is look much better. Roughness. This is another things we need to modify. Same. Map it picture. Open. We're going to the right here, bark three, roughness, and okay. So this is make the surface not glossy, kind of a better work this way. And of course we have an ambient occlusion. Same things one more time. We'll select bark three, ambient occlusion, and enable. This is bake in lighting. So all of this it's help us to create more realistic plan. Well, you don't need it just lock on what's going here. We can adjust also our height and width. And I'm going just pop up like scale, maybe two. Yeah, let's go try two. Okay, there you go. There's our tree. The, I recommend for you when you're done to set up your properly material, save this material because next time you don't need to go through all of the step. You just can click says load this material and that material will be available instantly. Okay. And let's just repeat one more time. So what we've done on this case, I'm going to select, you can go select any textures. We'll just go with first and you can see how fast we can do just select this. So we'll select normals and I'm just going with the bark one, displacement right there. There's our displacement. Where's our displacement? right here on the height, okay. roughness, okay. Sometimes I do like to go through all of those different bark, just find one that look right, you know, for these plants. Okay, let's go ambient occlusion. And there's our ambient occlusion, okay. Well, we're done with this, but you know, it does not, hmm. Like for example, here's look a little bit more squishy to me. So let's go change this as well. And we'll can do this by increasing say, so we can go like two pop up here. But problem is when we do this, we want to be sure we apply to everywhere to all our maps. Okay, like right there, two and then two. We'll have two five for some reason. Okay, let's go put two here. There you go. Okay, that's look much better. Well, and next we can also modify our branches and other ones. Like if we go and branch here, uh, right there, that is our branch. Actually, one before, there's our branch material. You can notice it is using different materials. We can also going and modify materials that we already pre-created, pre-loaded, or what we're using. So I'm just going to modify this. Same we're using with the color. Let's go change our color from this to maybe something a little bit smoother. And I'm just looking on a map. I think this will work bark 11. So yeah, let's go bark 11. Then of course we need to modify all our maps. We're going right there, bark 11. We have the base. Now we need it to height. It's or normal. So what do we have here? Normals. Okay, yeah, we need normals. Okay, now displacement, that's where we're going with the height. Okay, let's go there. 11, height. Okay, there you go. Now let's go roughness and ambience. We're almost there. We're almost there. So we'll go right there. We'll go with the roughness. And of course the ambient light as a last. And you do actually, you can play around, see if you maybe find better combination, but usually the combination that provided or layers, they work very well because they are assigned. And look we'll right here. There you go. We have it our tree with all is different. Next, let's work on our leaf. And for the leaf, we can create a different materials. Well, in it's definitely it's what we need because right now they look like a bark. Let's go ahead, open, color, 
and in the color when we open it, you'll notice we already had some materials I covered before so I'm going to just select one of these we'll go OK and <laughs> notice it's go cross yes what we need to do is rotate there you go look it's applied now properly okay I don't think we have a displacement we'll just kind of leave it what displacement was before normal let's go see if we can find our normal right here oh, there you go rotate a little bit so our radio seek with a break so yeah we need to do a little bit better okay and I will reduce also a little bit lower let's click OK zoom out and here we have a texture our plant well this is a very good beginning and let's go in next videos we're going to tweak a little bit more we're going to take this plant and make it look better so we'll go adjust this is kind of first original nice step for us to do but i think we can do much better the leaves could be variation and colors the plant maybe have a little bit more interesting dynamics to do with this and as well let's see if we can connect this to the age or uh, thriving so when you export it you can select which one you want it